Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Point Magoo, California and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Armada 20th Anniversary SL Grand Convoy. This is actually a crossover with Microman. It's a 30th anniversary for Microman. So that was back in or 2004, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a little old. 1984-2004 crossover, so you get both. You got Convoy, Optimus Prime, and Kicker, and this is actually a deluxe size. This is not Voyager size. I got the Voyager size with me, so I can show you. <laughs> yeah, so show you the comparison. And of course, you know the Japanese have better coloring. That's why their toys are more expensive. I show you the box. SO Grand Convoy and Kicker. That's what it says. And Japanese too. <laughs> yeah, 20th anniversary, 1984-2004. Since 1984, yeah. Microman, Microman, since 1974. Here's the top of the box. Crossover. Yeah. Convoy. Armada was crap, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, this one looks not too bad, comparatively speaking, and he does combine with Rodimus Prime. Uh, these are two deluxe size figures, so you can see, I mean, it looks pretty awesome in that sense. I mean, this guy was meant to be combined. Kicker has a couple of swords. So the Energon sword, Energon sword and the Gestron Kuron sword. So, uh, yeah, we'll show you that. And the Optimus gun, or convoy gun as they, uh, they call it over here. So, yeah, good looking, good looking box. I'll show you the figures. Yeah, hey, he's meant to roll out. Let me uh, first uh, get Kicker on the, he is G.I. Joe sized. So, yeah, right now he's a little difficult to pose, but he is what he is, but look, he's looking good. Let me show you a close, close up of that. Uh, no light piping that I'm aware of. Has this cool looking helmet and the little knee piece fell off. But uh, he does come with these humongous swords. He can have this humongous Energon sword, which is awesome. He's got a five mil pig, so if he wants to, he can dual wield that. Uh, yeah, like he's like in the back of the package, he can dual wield it. He's that Microman were supposed to be, and they are, they are pretty articulated. So, yeah, well, you get the point. Big, huge Energon sword, and that's more for Optimus, so you got a 5 mil peg as well. And what makes Microman really special, other than the lack of freaking focus, <laughs> is, does it have a shoulder joint? So, it, yeah, ball jointed shoulder on um, two points, so it has a good amount of articulation. Yeah, it pops off, but that's, I don't know why it's a trademark of the uh, Microman series. It has a bicep swivel, kind of. I love this Autobot painted chrome detail, and I love the chrome helmet. Blue, black, red, uh, turquoise, rather. Uh, double jointed, what do you call that, elbow. Wrist is on a joint or a swivel and it also swivels in and out so that is kind of neat in that respect uh, I don't think there's an ab crunch and a waist kind of swivel and more of a GI Joe spring swivel if you remember that which hey I happen to have them <laughs> anyways ball jointed hip upper thigh swivel double jointed knee ball jointed uh, what do you call that ankle yeah, so I love the white high top sneakers, so he can definitely get him some good poses. No doubt about that. So Kicker is pretty awesome. Focus. All right, but on to the man himself, Optimus, and he is a hot mess in this mode. I love the paintings of turquoise blue, more navy blue, turquoise, red, yeah, orange. Uh, the little Autobot symbol here, the huge Autobot symbol. You can see the guy's head from the top, so this is a big mess. Look at that, humongous gaps and everything. Let's face it, it wasn't meant to be displayed on that. Okay, light piping or tra translucent convoy gun, Optimus gun. Stores nice and neat in the back here. That's all right. Ah, man, this is horrible. Four out of ten in this mode. So other than that, you know, it is a crossover. It is what it is. So transformation, I mean, just like the, just like the Voyager. If you remember from back in the day, you know, legs pop out. This thing pops out fists neatly are right there so yeah they just swing out yeah they're kind of a weird I mean they just pretty much fit right in there so they pop out right from there and they swing out head head just they don't even bother trying to hide it there's uh, no matrix of leadership and of course if you want to transform them with 
hot rod, hot Artemis Prime, whatever. Just got that to pop out. But we're gonna put that to the side for now. And let me see. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, it's not the most difficult transformation in the world. Feet fold out. As far as for uh, articulation, you have this weird knee swivel, uh, upper thigh swivel. This thing moves out. Uh, no uh, waist articulation, not because he's a lard, lard butt. Uh, so I like that, the clear Energon looking thing. I don't have an Energon, or I think this was Armada, I forget. So single joint on the wrist, uh, the wrist swivels out kind of weirdly. Head moves 360, so it's not too bad. I mean, the robot moves definitely better looking. It does. He doesn't look like a fat ass like he did with Energon, or sorry, the Voyager series. So, hey, I don't know if this is Energon. I don't know if this is Armada. So sue me. Oh yeah, I forgot. This thing swivels out of the way. Yeah. So there you go. Sue me. I don't remember Armada. I don't. I think he's Armada. Armada's notoriously bad. So yeah, I want to show you that for size comparison. Here he is. He's more of a scout size, it looks like. Ugh. Yeah, he's in between scout size. He's a little smaller than a deluxe, as you can see. Uh, he's meant to be combined with Rodimus. So, there he is with Fat Ass Prime. And I'm going to need the wall to support him because he does not like to stand. So, there he is with Voyager Prime. So, he is definitely junior. <laughs> yeah, junior size there. Uh, this is the American product. As you can see, the paint after a little different. And it is Trey Windy out here. Uh, let's see, it does come with a bunch of extras, and I was go I'm not going to show you how to transform them into Rodimus, and I want to get Rodimus for that, just for that reason. comes with a couple of cards, so if you want to know, that, that is Cybertron, I think that's Armada, yeah, and that is good old kicker, Cybertron, so yeah, he's got the stats, and it is a windy day today, and it's kind of difficult, and you had a mail away. I never could get that. I had this dude too, so maybe one day if I'm if you're lucky I'll transform that. Probably not. There's Rodimus and the other dude. Let's see, yeah, tip of the iceberg. Oh yeah, comic book. So yeah, they pulled it out. They pulled out all the stops here. Yeah, it's in So let me see. Oh yeah. Comic book and you wanna see good old Galvatron, he was awesome. Uh, the Scorponok dude, I forget. Oh yeah, and this guy right here. I had the convoy, so you can merge into Devastator or whatever. Or, yeah. So that's cool. And yeah, here it is. You get the the leggy Rodimus, and he will merge into this awesomeness right here. I, I if you can see that. Okay. Yeah. A lot of merging. I'm not going to show you all that. And just for the Microman series, so you can see, you got the 20th anniversary. Microman, it started off real quick uh, back in 74. I mean, really well articulated, made G.I. Joe look like a piece of crap. And of course, it just did pretty much developed from there. I like that spaceman motif. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah, why did I do this on a windy day? I don't know. And of course, Transformers, so you can see the evolution. Convoy back in the day, Superion, Fort Max, which I'm glad they're reissuing. And so on and so forth. Yeah, 1991. So you can see the evolution back when Beast Wars. Magnaboss, I'll have that dude. Powered Convoy. And on to, on to and up to Masterpiece Convoy, which is awesome. Boy, that's a lot of history. You can hold the... Uh, yeah, I've been ranting and raving, but, you know, he can hold this weapon, sort of, kind of. The peg doesn't quite fit in there. But, he can definitely hold his convoy gun. Yeah. Nice, nice. Alright. He looks good. I and mean, robot mode, he definitely looks better than fat ass. <laughs> okay, he was a lard butt over it. <laughs> His Voyager size counterparts. He doesn't look nearly as chunky. 7 out of 10. Alright, YouTubers, is all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.